Hey guys, Mighty Gazelle here, back with more reading the My Hero Academia manga. This is chapter 422. The two week hiatus is over, it was golden week. Uh, I am extremely excited, I'm always excited, but like, um, I I have good friends who, who do indulge in spoilers, and they, they know not to, like, you know, spoil me for anything. They've all just told me one thing. This is an amazing chapter. They, they haven't told me any details. So I'm intrigued. Um, I already kind of expected this chapter to be amazing because look how the last one left off with that great shot of, of Deku wearing the All Might t-shirt. Uh, just, mm. I, I'm loving all the art people are making of that, by the way. There, a lot of people are doing different um, colorings of that, and it's great. And I, I just... It's so cool to see the community rally around something, and that that moment's been really great. Um, so yeah, I I am extremely excited to read this. Um, apparently, I I predicted something really well that happens in this, and I'm trying to think. I I I don't really remember. I over the last week or two week break or whatever, I've said a lot of random shit that I've thrown out here for what could be in this chapter. So I don't really know what that could be. I've thought about it. My best guess is uh, I I said that in the opening for the new season, there's a, there's a segment where it's like Class 1A, like clearing the way for Deku. And it's something about that struck me as odd. Like, that's not something that really is going to happen in Season 7 content, as far as we know. And I, I, I know, well, it was revealed that Horikoshi actually told the director of the anime how this series is going to end so i thought okay maybe that's like a fun tease or like an easter egg uh it's not that bold of a prediction i think it's pretty safe because it's like why else would that be there but that's the only prediction i can think of i there's nothing else i i predicted that was really even remotely cool um so we'll see but uh yeah uh, anything else not really. I'm just ready to dive on in. Chapter 422. Let's go. Well, okay. Yep. Uh, right off the bat, we are... I mean, I, obviously, there's no location change. That was another thing. Like, yeah, there's no location change. Everyone, Everyone's here now. So, okay. We're starting off with... Let me make sure everything's recording. Yeah, we're good. Um, we're starting off with Aoyama. The outstretched hand moves him forward, and... Oh no, he's already like behind, well behind uh, Deku, and he's shit's like erupting by him. Um, that was another thing I was worried about. Um, I don't know if I predicted this, but um, I'm kind of worried about Aoyama. Um, I, I feel like if there's any any student that could potentially, you know, cease to exist, it would be him. Um, that's just a, a fear I have. It's not really a prediction, but anyway, he's he's behind. Deku right now, and he's saying, "Keep running, Midoriya Kun, the little star that he always has." Uh, I am a I am a Kun. Shouts Deku. Uh, that was a reverse order. He shouts that first, and he says, "Keep running, Midoriya Kun," with a smile on his face. Ah, <sighs> um, as I always shout, Sh uh, Shirok. Oh, he's, he's he doesn't he doesn't show Sh uh, he doesn't show um Kurogiri shouts Shirokumo. Are you about to? But uh. It looks like something is wrong with him. Is he like... He looks like he's just a deflated balloon. Um, maybe he's just out of power? I don't know. Uh, okay, so we're having Deku running. Uh, oh, this is crazy. So, oh my god. Alright, we have this gigantic battlefield. of You see a hero scattered everywhere. Um, and, and in the distance you see this big amalgamation blob of uh of all for one with ten uh, ten or tendrils flying out of it this reminds me of uh the outro of season four it's the one with airy you know that big pulsing black thing in that outro it kind of looks like that um so deku is running at it uh i'm see is anyone i can notice here no i think there's that girl the turtle girl who can fold herself into her body i think i see her oh is that shindo then right behind her yeah probably other than that, I don't really recognize anyone. That's kind of funny, though. Oh, we see comic book guy. We see, um, uh, Frick, what's his name? Um, 
Mr. Snipe. Uh, I, I forgot his name because you never see him anymore. Mr. Snipe is here. What a rarity. Um, him, the comic book guy, but guy they're shooting at uh, All for One. You get a shot of All for One, who's looking very demonic here. He's like a... Think of how All Might looks with the shading, but instead of a cheerful comic book look, it's like a deep, evil look. Uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, Vlad. Is that Vlad? Yeah, I think it's Vlad. Vlad says, our attacks aren't working. He's too tough. We get Kami and the, the hairy guy. What's the hairy guy's name? Unlike All for One, he's like super strong against my illusions. <laughs> Unlike All for One. So they're not they're not calling him All for One? She says, Unlike All for One, he's like super strong against my illusions. Um Well, they're just illusions. Anyone's gonna be strong against them. Just ignore them. <laughs> but whatever. Uh we get Cementos and Oh, what's that girl's name? I don't remember her name. It's that girl from um I think the second year. I, I don't even know if we know what her power is, but I don't. I don't even remember her name. But yeah, she's here with Cementos. Someone, let me know down below. I don't remember her name or power. Um. So Aizawa shouts. That takes us to Shigaraki. Oh, wait. Oh wait. Oh wait. Hold on. I'm, I'm. I'm glancing over the dialogue here. Uh, Aizawa on the mic says, "I need all of you to open a path that takes us to Shigaraki." Yes. That is. Is that what my is my is my prediction going to come true with that regard? Um. Uh, all for one. I'll come to call him all for one, even though they don't seem to call him all for one. At least Kami doesn't. Uh, full factor release. He says, "This form isn't supposed to grow from emotions. I subdue multiple powers and obtain control over them. You won't just. You won't win just by having an army." Okay, so he's doing the. Oh shit! He's doing the same thing he did against Bakugo, but he's. This form isn't supposed to grow from emotions. So, full factor, so do multiple powers. So, he's he's referencing that he's done he did this before against Bakugo with the whole releasing all quirk factors, uh, but it's more controlled this time, I guess. Because he's not, he's not under the influence of the rewinding emotion thing. Um... Did the memories of that all for one transfer over to this all for one? How would he know about that moment? I guess he could have maybe seen it um, from inside of of uh, Shigafo at the time. Maybe? Or no, inside of it was Shigaraki at the time, yeah. Um, but anyway, you have all for one. Again, he's just in the middle of this gigantic cluster of black like tendrils and stuff. And he's creating like a, a cannon beam over the side of him. That's so cool. Like a ball of energy. You won't win just by having an army, he says. And he fires his lasers. Fire my lasers. And he, he doesn't just fire lasers. He fires a bunch of like uh, black like spikes too. That's just so cool. Oh shit. Agakure coming in. She, she looks so sick. What the heck? Agakure shouts Deku. Dealing with light is where I shine. <laughs> That's a good line. <laughs> Um, so she, he fires this giant laser and Hagakura comes flying in and she, this is expression. I love this for a lot of reasons. For one, obviously we haven't seen a lot of Hagakure, but I bet you Horikoshi is like, man, I could really have some fun with this in the final hour. Just some crazy Hagakure expressions. She bends this laser and she looks like a, uh, it's almost like a Bakugo grin. How it's like, um, just a big, big ass smile and like. She doesn't like daunted at all by this, and she's wearing the uh, what is what's left of that like jacket or whatever. Um, and then you have Momo and Denki. Holy railgun! Whoa! Holy shit! Momo whipped out a railgun. Holy shit! It, <laughs> okay, I'm I'm sorry. I'm like geeking out here. So, yeah, <laughs> that's badass. First of all, no cannons anymore. We're, we've moved beyond the 17th century here. More in the future. Um, she whips out a railgun. I don't know. How, how, how do you even build something that big from your body? I guess by parts? I don't know. But you have Denki who's wrapped up in the cables. <laughs> he looks like he's just ready to die. He's like, battery life once again. <laughs> that's so cool, though. Oh, my God. That's great. 
Uh, okay, so she whips out a railgun, and you see Deku. Uh, is he the one who's like railgun? No, no, it's Momo. It probably says railgun because there's no there's no question mark about it. Already shots Momo, and uh, <laughs> Kaminari's like, whoo, whoo, whoo. <laughs> "You're ready to go." <laughs> they fire, they fire the railgun as Hagakura is whipping the beam around, so he gets hit with a double uh, beam. Which is sick. Sorry, my eye keeps watering. Uh, maybe I'm subconsciously crying about this. I don't know. <laughs> um, this is sick. This is this this kind of does fit my prediction. I was basically like, oh, they're gonna clear away for him. That's kind of what they're doing. It's it's different than the intro because in the intro uh, for the opening of the new season, Momo has like a right shield, and uh, Kaminari and Jiro are running forward and they shoot like electricity. So it's a little different, but symbolically the same. Um, how insolent says uh, all for one and he blocks he blocks both uh again these are um as just like last week these aren't digital scans these are like raw scans so the blacks are very strong in these and that just tends to erase a little bit of like the finer details so if i miss something uh i apologize i'm not really sure how he blocks this um how insolent he says and he blocks both looks like he just sticks his hand out and like blocks him which is pretty badass and then uh, a bunch more tendrils start growing out and flying toward him. Um, and Deku gets ready for a punch. He says, stop hurting everyone. And then, boom! More people jump in front to help. Yep, this is totally, this is totally like the opening. That is so sick. That is so cool. All right. So who we got here? Uh, on the left, it's, it's... It's a guy from 1B. Is that the guy who, like, rotates things really fast? Or, like... It, what is his power? I forgot what his power is. But anyway, we have Rikido Sato. We have Sero. Um, oh, we have Beastman. Beastman's here with uh, Abara on his back. And Abara looks like she's passed out. You just see her like, oh, I'm here. <laughs> like, But the, her hair is flying out, blocking stuff. And Sero looks like he's <laughs> he's flying at like 100 miles per hour. He's got, <laughs> I love it. And you have Koda and Ojiro. They, they block all these tendrils. They form like a circle around Deku. And block all the shots. That is sick. Yes. Oh, this is so good. <laughs> Dude, this is... Oh, my God. <laughs> Yo. Ojiro says, you're all beat up. Save your strength. And then uh, Sato says, you're the only one who can hit him. We'll block his attacks. <laughs> Dude, this is badass. Let's go. So go as the something wraps around Deku here. Oh, it's it's o, it's Ojiro and... um. And Froppy, they, she wraps her tongue around him. He wraps extended arms around him. And then now we're getting shots of uh, the evacuation center. Who They're still watching on the TV. Oh, it's Sue's family. When was the last time we saw them? I think it was like in an extra panel or something. Way back when. Wow, her family. Mommy, look. Dude, you know you're in the end game when it's showing Sue's family watching. <laughs> Holy shit. Mommy, look, it's Big Sis. Daddy, Big Sis Suyu is fighting. Suyu shouts the dad. Props, to, I, I, you know, you guys know me. I'm not the biggest Froppy fan, but that's cool that her family's watching. That's cool. Um, Dear best Big Sis, they're shouting. Or should I say croaking? <laughs> Sorry, that was bad. That was bad. <laughs> um, Shoji-kun, do your best Shoji-kun. Uh, says a girl. Is that the girl he saved? That has to be. That, that has to be her. Why else do they focus on her like that? Shoji kun, do your best. That is. Mm. Oh, that's so sweet. That is so sweet. That is. Uh. Uh, Shoji shouts. We're not. We're not agile enough to dodge such monstrous attacks. But will at least take you a little bit further. Uh, Suyu finishes. Shoji-kun. Suyu-chan. Um, is that the first time he's got her name right? Has he, ever, has he been calling her Suyu-chan for forever? Or is that... Am I crazy? They don't interact that much. Correct. Let me know down below. So they launch it forward. Deku lands, and then, like, another, I don't know what this is, like another, like, whip or giant tendril or something comes to crash on him. 
guts, and spirit. Kirishima Mina! <laughs> Let's go! That is... Ah, yes! Kirishima Hell yeah! And is that fat gum? Yeah, it's fat gum with a lot of his fat gone. Oh, that's so great! Oh, God, that's so great. I knew, I just knew in my heart of hearts that Kirishima and Mina would have a moment together in this, like, this last charge. Oh, my God, yes. Guts and spirit. Oh, that's so good! <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> so, guts is obviously uh, Kirishima and spirit is Mina. Um, uh, I, I, a chan Mina, that's the friends! That's the friends from middle school! No way! Dude, the, everyone's getting like... The, oh god, this is crazy. Everyone who's like... Dude, we're total... This is so... This is blowing my mind. We're literally in the endgame because... Like, just look, thinking about it now, like... The, Suya's family, the o, Ojiro, the girl he saved. Like, everyone who like means something to these people and, and that we know of is watching and cheering them on. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Holy shit. It's the it's the friend um to stop blabbering for a moment. It's the it's the, Remember the boy in Kirishima and Mina's flashback um who was like, "Hey, you know, like that girl Mina, she's super flashy. She's going to be a great hero, great quirk all that. Like they don't want old-fashioned people like you." He's he was his friend. He was just trying to like, you know, talk to him. But he clearly he went down whatever path he wanted to go like the what was it the support course or something uh clearly he didn't become a hero and then you have the two friends who i only recognize because the hair colors uh, i remember it was like black and blonde or black and white or something uh and they shout mina so wherever they went they went to the same school i guess uh, or or just they just happen to be in the same shelter whatever regardless uh kirishima shouts do your best and then mina shouts and we'll do ours. Oh. <laughs> That's so good. Yeah, Kirimina. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's the one ship I actually truly like adore and love and root for. Oh, that's great. Yes. Thank you, Horikoshi. <laughs> um, Deku kind of stumbles. He says, thanks. As he gets back up. Why? This is all for one. Why don't these soon-to-be corpses just die already? <laughs> oh, this is so, like, classic. It's like the villain who's, like, just can't comprehend the power of, of friendship and love. Because he has none. <laughs> um, you have Jiro. Um, they can barely move anymore, but their eyes. Those pesky eyes. And you have Mineta, who hasn't done, hasn't, we didn't really see, I don't think we saw do an attack. Correct me if I'm wrong. But he's, like, getting up off the ground. He's really hurt. Um... They can barely move at all, but their eyes, those pesky eyes. You're goddamn right, those eyes, those beautiful, hopeful, powerful, awesome eyes of class 1A. You're goddamn right, all for one. About to get effed. He finds himself immobilizing. He, you know, he, uh, oh, he's thinking back to, um, this is when Deku didn't really have full control over his, like, uh, vestige self, world self, and he's kind of all misty, and you have Nana... And they're like, we choose to remain on this boy. It's that scene. Uh, he finds himself immobilized, squirming about, helplessly watching on. Conferring this power to someone who so worthless was a mistake. This is when all for one's like shouting in that world. I Now I get it, Midoriya. Izuku Midoriya. Whoa. Saying his full name. Midoriya, your weakness is something. Dot, dot, dot. Do your best. Gentle says, hell yeah. <laughs> oh, he oh, made him a trampoline. It was kind of hard to see at first. Uh, so a big something comes in, smacks Mrs. Deku. Gentle makes a trampoline, like an air trampoline. And he launches him. And he says, do your best. Look at him. Gentle, you look so lovely. <laughs> he looks so happy. Dude, you know he's happy. Gentle's out here living the dream. He's living the dream of being a hero. <laughs> That's so good. That's so good. He's, I love it. I love how happy he is. He's not, there's not fear on that man's face. God, that's great. And we see Death Arms, who also shouts, do your best. Fuck yeah, do your best, Deku. I'll say it too. 
Oh, uh, Midori, your 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 weakness is something that all might lack. And we're cutting to oh Tokoyami, and uh, who's there with them? I think someone. I think people are just finally reaching them to like help them. Uh, do your best. Sorry, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like subconsciously tearing up. I guess I don't really know. Um, <laughs> man, I don't know. That's weird. Like I'm like tearing up, but like I don't like. It's just subconsciously I'm just that <laughs> shook about this. I mean I am. Don't get me wrong, <laughs> but. Um, Tokoyama says, do your best with, uh, I think it's Hawks next to him. Yeah, they both just collapsed. This strength that emerges from your weakness is what makes all of them get back up again and again. And we see Ida! Ida came by, Deku's like stumbling and Ida grabs him by the arm and like, get back up, you're not done yet. <laughs> Ida being here though, is that the? Is this the first time we're seeing Ida? Am I crazy? Did I miss him in like the portal scenes and stuff? Or did he just get here? Anyway, I'm happy he's here, but like I just don't remember. I don't remember seeing him. Uh, but that's sick though, is what makes all of them get back up and up again. As long as you keep moving, they will. And all for one reaches out his hand. There's blood coming out of his hole. Ew. Oh, duh. That, I, already, I already think that whole hand is gross to begin with, but it's bleeding. Yeah, and he, he's even surprised. He's like, what? Like, is he bleeding from the forehead too? Yo, hey, this is my predictions too. This was in my predictions. Oh, I should have pulled him up. Uh, but basically, I said that like uh, during the chapter, like all for one, something within him would like would surprise him, or like something would go wrong. It wouldn't like some. I don't know if it'd be like Tenko fighting back or something. But yeah, he's bleeding. He's now he's just bleeding from the forehead too. I thought our jets didn't have ejection seats. You're the one, you're the one behind this, right? This is one of the pilots. Didn't they die? Oh, they have ejection seats though. So, they, okay. They just mentioned that. Duh. But I'm, I was like, I thought they died. Um, you're the one who, you're the, you're the one behind this, right? All Might? Kids want, the kids want a perfect victory, says All Might. He's laying on the ground. The fewer the losses, the better. All Might always, dude, he, what a, what a, what a champ. Always thinking about others, but why would wait? Why would you? Why would your jets not have ejection seats to begin with? Excuse me. No, we're just gonna send you in these flying coffins. Good luck. Hope you don't die. You you only you only live if you get back to land. Ejections for quitters. <laughs> like what? <laughs> I'm sorry. That's like a oversight on the U.S. Department. You're the one behind this, right? All night. Uh. The kids want a perfect victory. All Might. Can we just take a moment? Thank the Lord that All Might is going to live. He deserves the best vacation. I can't I can't wait for post-chapter stuff, like post-war stuff. I just want to see him relaxing in a big recliner and just like hanging out with all the students. Come on, dude. Like, let this, let this old man enter the old man stage of his life and just kick his feet up, please. He deserves it. The kids want a perfect victory. The few losses, the better. Pilot says, uh, who are you to say that? And All Might, his left arm, uh, starts to like lift up. Looks, is looking at his hand. Young Midoriya, that day you rushed out and allowed my body to move. And since then, you've always been. That The day he's referring to is obviously the sludge villain day, right? Because he was like. I'm pathetic. He's reaching his gut. I, I can't go out there and help him. I'm pathetic. And Deku runs out there and he's like, got to practice what I preach. Is that, is that the day he's referring to? Yeah. Allowed my body to move. Yeah. It has to be that day. Whoa. 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 Holy shit. We, oh my, that's surprising. Whoa. We get Melissa who, who we've already seen. She shouts do your best. And we get Rody. Rody says, do your best. Did we see a little, what's the little bird's name? I love that little bird who's like, uh, I guess spoilers if you haven't seen the movie, but it's his quirk is that that's like his soul or spirit. It's really cool. Um, wow. And, he, and his little uh, siblings are watching the screen. Huh. I, I, I'm just surprised. I don't have any like, like thing to say about that. We're roadie. Okay. So literally like the whole, the whole verse, except for Koichi, 
who's again in my predictions, but like I've I've nearly given up hope at this point because if it was gonna happen, it would have happened. I think with the portals and stuff. But she shouts, "Do your best!" And he says, "Do your best as well." Remember our first day of school at UA at the UA gate? Says Ida as he pushes him forward. That's just like the intro. I pointed that out too. In the intro, he's literally pushing Deku forward uh, behind him. This is yeah. That was my that was the prediction I got right. That that my friend told me about like you got you called it with your prediction he didn't tell me what it was and i'm like what could it be that that's um there's so many parallels there's so many parallels to the that opening of the new st- season to this it's it's insane uh remember our first day of school at the ua gate he says as he's pushing decky forward it looks like his engines are about to like blow up there you could tell he just had, had one little burst left in them and he pushed them forward and we're getting that shot of all three of them at the gate oh Look at how dorky and young and goofy they look there back in the day. <laughs> it was only a year ago in, in, in universe, but like they, they matured so much. Whoop, 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 the helicopter flying over Uraka. Now, now I think I understand what she meant by that. Uraka son. We're almost at the hospital. They're saying to her, Oh, it's one of the wild, wild pussycats. Uh, just hold on a little longer. You guys will make it. You guys. Is Toga? Is Toga with them? Is the question. <clears throat> but Deku. Well. She, and Uraki, you see her faintly opening her eyes. I, I'd be very surprised if Toga lived. I wouldn't hate it. But if it to me, it felt very death-like with her Earth Room woman. I'd have to think about that. I, they haven't shown her. They're being ambiguous about it. So it makes me think that she's going to live. Um, but Deku, well... It just screams, do your best. I kind of like it. Oh, <laughs> that's a great callback. I mean, they already technically called it back. Do your best, says Uraka. She's kind of not, I guess, crying a little bit. It's a lot of sweat, but like you could tell a couple little tears forming. Do your best. That is such a good callback because that's literally the, uh, I mean, we don't, it's the moment he meets Uraka. He's like, uh, Wait, no, it's not the it's not it's a different moment. I was thinking of the one where she like helps him fall not trip on his face. I think that that was the first moment, but then later on it was the Deku thing. Uh, but still, great callback. And you see Deku launching off the ground. And we're seeing uh send all of our heroes to Japan now. The US president? What the fuck? Send all of our heroes to Japan now, but sir. If all for one wins, then our country will be. I don't care. Do it now. Ex- Excuse me. Koichi Hope lives. Koichi stock rising. Holy shit! Why I? The U.S. president. They're gonna send all their heroes. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck? That's so random, but Koichi, he can still happen. I'm sorry. That's the, literally of all, of all the possible things that could remain, like keep Koichi Hope alive would be them sending the U.S. heroes. And they just randomly, just in the middle of this, or like the U.S. president's like, damn it, send them all. Send the heroes. (laughs) What? Okay. I'll talk about that later. What the hell? And you see, you see Shoto. Who's shouting? I can hear everyone's voices. Oh, he's not. He, he, that's not what Todoroki said. You just hear him shouting. You see him shouting. I can hear everyone's voices. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. We're gonna get a lot of panels here. Something big's about. To, <laughs> something big's about to happen. Sukauchi shouts, "Do your best!" And you see the the shirtless kid. Do your best. And we see Tiger. Do your best. The look at him, kid. Do your best. Everyone. Everyone. Well, I'm about to mention the saying, do your best, it looks like. Coda, do your best. Uh, the news reporter guy with the one horn, and then the reporter, that's the guy who would report about, like, staying in the newspapers, the vampire-looking guy, I think. Uh, do your best, he says. Uh, do your best, shouts, uh... I don't recognize those two. Who are those? Who are the two in the top? In the middle. Someone let me know. I don't recognize those two. I'm going to feel like an idiot, probably. Yeah, Gran Torino says, do your best from his, uh, his hospital bed. Um, you have Aerie. Do your best. 
uh, do your best. These are the people that way back. There was that girl walking in the streets. Uh, it looks like that's her, uh, do your best shouts. I don't know who this is. Some guy from a shelter. Do your best. That's the girl who was cleaning the all might statue. That has to be her, right? And then you have all night with his, uh, raising his, raising his fist. And you see an image of the Deku like flying above him. The greatest hero to me. No! That's what he was going to finish saying. Hold up. I got to go back. How did All Might start that sentence? Young Midoriya, the day, that day you rushed out and allowed my body to move. And since then, you've always been the greatest hero to me? No. <laughs> no, that's so good. Uh, All Might just called Deku his greatest hero. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> oh my God, that's so good. Now I'm like legitimately crying. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I did not expect that. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, now there's actual tears. Um Are you kidding me? All might just call Deku the greatest hero to me with a big smile on his face, raising his arm. By the way, his arm his arm looks like it's uh not skinny. It almost looks like it's the buff form, kind of. I'm not saying he like made himself buff, but it looks Oh my god, that's Bro, what is the? I don't think I don't think they've revealed the name of this chapter yet. What is this gonna be? And you see, uh, is that tank? Is that a? Uh, um, is that a, wait? Is that his mom running? It is. It's Inko. Do your best. She's the last one. She shouts. Do your best, Izuku. She's so crying. She's like, let's fucking go. <laughs> chapter four twenty two. Izuku Midoriya rising. No way! It's this his rising chapter, at the path, at the end of the path, that his friends opened. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Is this the best chapter of My Hero Academia ever? Oh my god! The the emotions I'm feeling right now. It's giddy. There's just so much. <laughs> There's so much to talk about. Oh my god. <laughs> Literally, this... This... It's crazy. Oh yeah. Okay. Sorry. <sighs> yeah, you can see the freaking tears on my face. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, um, Let me compose myself a little bit. Sorry to act like a, a buffoon there. Um, This series means a lot to me. And this chapter really... It... People said, people whispered to me it was great, but they, they didn't tell me anything. And I already figured this chapter would be great, but I, there, there are so many reasons there, there. Okay. Where do I begin? Where do I begin? Uh, I, I, I won't waste too much of your guys' time, but, uh, I do want to talk about a few things. Kiramina, Koichi. Koichi legitimately, I'm not, and this isn't the crazy part of me talking. Koichi legitimately has a good chance as a, at a cameo now. I'm not necessarily to help out in this fight because I'd imagine by the time U.S. heroes get there, the fighting will be done. But as a cameo, I think is legitimately possible now, and I will take it. I will take it. I'll, we'll talk about that later. Uh, where? Oh my God! Just like. So yeah, that was my that was my prediction. Like. A week ago or whatever, I, I posted the, the, the segment of the opening where it's all the students running with Deku. And I'm like, just just imagine swapping out his hero costume for that t-shirt. And you'd probably have like really close to what we're about to get in the manga moment. And that's what happened. Um, it's so sick. Hagakure looking badass. Curving lasers. Momo with a railgun. That is so sick. Uh, that is so badass. I'm not sure how she makes that because don't she needs to know... The structure of everything she makes beforehand so either she's she just invented the railgun i guess this universe has advanced technology 
I mean, they they floated UA building with rocket thrusters and shit. So maybe May gave her schematics or something. That's totally possible. Um, they fire they fire double laser attack at all for one. Denki once again being a battery, which you know, Denki probably got screwed over the most in terms of like helping out in the final war. They made up for Momo. Uh, they made up for some of the others, but Denki served as a battery twice, which it's fine. I, I'm not the biggest, I'm not the biggest Denki guy to begin with. I love, I love Denki, but he's not like someone I, in my absolute top echelon of who I love and root for, but I love him. Um, and it just sucks that he got kind of human battery twice, <laughs> you know? Uh, and then the, and then Deku like, <clears throat> They, he tries to like go for a punch to block this attack, but they know, they're know they like, no, save your strength. We got you. And there's a bunch of class 1A and class 1B protecting him. Froppy and Oger. Uh, uh, dude, here's, the, here's where it really starts to get good. It was already great, but then they start calling in like the deep cuts. Like the, the things that were, if it's been, you've been reading the series and you, you, like, if you haven't really been following My Hero, you probably look at these characters like, who the fuck are these people? But if you really care, these are like, the this is for you. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is the person, that the girl that Ojiro saved. It'd be really weird. Um, I say I keep saying Ojiro. Shoji, sorry. Um, Shoji. Um, that's, that's amazing that she's watching. It makes sense that the whole world's watching this fight, you know. Um, that's so great, though. By the way, shout out to Shoji. He gets a moment in the new outro for the new season. I thought that was great. Like amongst amongst like Todoroki and you know all those other people, he got on he got a moment in the outro. It's so cool. Um, and then you have Kirishima and Mina. Believe me, I'll be posting a lot about this, about a lot of this stuff on my Twitter. So link in the description if you want to follow along with all that fun. But and the fact Fat Gum is here, they. Horikoshi knows the stories he's led to this point. Um, <clears throat> and don't get me wrong. The focus here is obviously Kirishima and Mina. But like the fact that Fat Gum is here. And he's not even in fat form. So you know this this hit he's taking is going to hurt. Um, they all, they and Mina's covering herself in acid. And, and Kirishima's obviously hardening. That is so good. Uh, obviously Fat Gum and Kirishima. They're... Like the that that that's still one of my favorite fights of the entire series when they're fighting against Rappa, and that's where we get Kirishima's uh, backstory, like kind of his origin, just so to speak. And it's just so it, you know, I'm I'm gonna, I'm sure I'm just gonna talk about it. I don't care if this video is long. Uh, feel free to skip if you want. If you're done watching, you know, whatever. I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna geek out about everything remaining in this in this chapter. Okay, um, Kirishima and Mina, like. So Kirishima's backstory, obviously, it's like he was too afraid to move back then. And he was really insecure. He didn't really think his quirk was all that special. But he wanted to be a hero. And obviously, uh, Mina, that day, dove in front of Gigantomachia to help her friends. She was terrified, traumatized even, that we know, in the future. But that changed Kirishima. He's like, she she dove out to save them. I, I heard about this kid on the news who who was quirkless. He, he dove in to, to save his friend, which was, which we know was, was Deku. And here he is now just fearless. He even said, he shouts guts and she says spirit and spirit. God, I love that. They're like a thing, like a guts and spirit. Like can they form an agency when they get older? Please call it team magma. Do it. Come on, <laughs> please. That'd be so good. Um, and the fact, and like the fact that they're both here, like, with a combo together, it's so great because it's it's always been Mina was able to do something, Kirishima couldn't. In the last war, it was uh, Kirishima did something and Mina couldn't. And then in this war, it was Kirishima tried, Mina succeeded uh, with saving, you know, uh, from the sludge villain and Gigantomachia. And now they're together, both succeeding. And that's great. That's so good. <clears throat> um, and then you have the friends. Uh, that just the cherry on top is the friends who like were in the flashback with them. I love that episode even more now, knowing that it's been it's been called back in such a big spot. That's great. Uh, I'll stop gushing about them now. I love Kirishima and Mina. They're they're so amazing. Uh, and then moving on, we have all for one who's like, why? What these soon to be corpses? Why won't they give up? Like it's 
and it's slowly he's slowly starting to put the pieces together. He's his eyes are his eyes are even widening. Um, Adoria, your weakness is something, and then gentle, making them the trampoline. Death Arms, who we don't really see it do much, but he shouts, "Do your best." He's on the battlefield, so hey, you know that's pretty good. <clears throat> uh, your weakness is something that all might lacked. This strength that emerges from your weakness is what makes them all of them get back up and up again. He's slowly figuring out, and then you see blood coming from his hand. Something, something's going on inside of him, and I, I, my my longstanding theory now is that it's beyond the singularity. It's something they referenced in Vigilantes. It is something in an area that which all for one couldn't comprehend. He did, he didn't. It's one of the few things he didn't know yet. Um, and I think wherever Tenko and the other users are, I think it's beyond the, the beyond the singularity, and they're somehow hurting him, uh, bringing him to his knees with this cripple. Whatever's happening to him, he's freaking out now. Um, and then you have the U.S. pilots, uh, who again, I don't know how they don't have ejection seats. Really weird. But it's cool that All Might put him in there for him. Um, and then, yeah, I love how All Might raises his arm. And then uh, I had to I had to go back and, like, make sure, like, and since then you've always been dot, dot, dot. Like, I had to go back and reconnect it with what he says later, but it's so good. Uh, and then the callbacks with Melissa and Rhodey. I know Rakas has got to be happy. Rhodey's his boy. Um, so that's cool. Um, Ida pushing Deku forward. Uh, Uraraka. And I know a lot of people are hoping Uraraka, like, appears there and they do the whole like falling from the sky flying flying together art that horikoshi made it doesn't really seem likely at this point maybe i don't know she seems like she's on her way to the hospital because she lost a lot of blood and shit so we'll see tokoyami uh, was also one of the people who was out of commission which i thought uh and kind of makes sense but they're all saying do your best anyway bakugo was not <clears throat> mentioned in this he wasn't shown so that makes me think that he might appear in some fashion. It's a very strange omission, if you think about it. Literally, everyone else was shown. Um, it screams, do your best. I kind of like it. <laughs> I love that callback. It's so good. And then the U.S. president. What the fuck, Horikoshi? I was this close to just... Uh, Alright, Koichi's not happening. It's whatever. I just hope that one day they explain it. Like, just... At the very least, tell me in an interview or something why he didn't show up. But you have the president who's watching this. And by the way, they're still not showing him, which is strange. It's a silhouette. I saw this funny theory that, like, the president is Deku's dad. And that's why they're not showing his face. Um, and you know what? It actually it, it would make some sense because you're seeing on the news your son like whooping ass and you all of a sudden revert your decision to be like, Oh shit. No, we're sending our heroes. My, my son's out there. <laughs> you know, I don't think that theory is true, but I just saw it floating around like back during the, the, the president stuff. It was like a joke, but, uh, Hey, you know what? It kind of makes some sense now. Send all of our heroes to Japan. Now he says all of our heroes, all of our heroes. I don't care. Do it now. Um, Again, I don't know if I don't know how fast they'd be able to get there, but my hope now is, and this is legitimate. I'm not just crazy. Like he just straight up said, "Send all of our heroes." Koichi is one of the heroes in America, and I expect at like a post-war, you know, like like oh, the people who come up to help with triage and stuff. You just see a, a wave of the U.S. heroes come to help stabilize things. Have Koichi talk to Aizawa, say, what's up, homie? Oh, man, you lost you lost some limbs and an eye. What what the hell happened? And, like, have Deku and him meet, just to say hi. Like, ah, oh, do it for me. Do it for the Vigilantes fans out there who just want to see some representation for that series. Please. God, please. <laughs> I'm sorry, but the fact, it is so strange to me. All this shit going on. And this actually fits my Weather Girl theory and my long dead Weather Girl theory. It actually, some of it remains true that the U S is going to be sending more help. I'll, I'll repost that on my Twitter, but, uh, everyone's shouting for him. And then all night says the greatest hero to me. All, as you guys know, all Might's my favorite character. Don't get me wrong. I love Deku. I adore him. I think he's the perfect vessel for the series and he's great in every way. He's a little ball of hope and sunshine and I love him. To hear All Might 
I don't know. I don't know why I never even thought about this. Like that the day would come where, cause Deku's praised all might his entire life. But the moment came, all might's praised Deku too, of course. But like he straight up just says like the greatest hero to me. Something is so cathartic and satisfying about that. I just, mm. and then at the end, the last one, his mom, his mom coming in to shout, do your best Izuku, <laughs> who's been terrified this entire war, but even she's like, let's fucking go. <laughs> and then he lands a punch in all for one. Is it weird that like as great as this punch is, as to me it's the least hype of this entire this the least hype thing of this entire chapter. Everything else outshines the combat part. Is that weird? Am I just that effed up? <sighs> great. This this is Azuka Midori Rising. Um This might be my favorite chapter ever in My Hero Academia. I've said that a few times in this final arc, but I think this one It's just you guys saw, I was actually crying. I was crying before I even, like, knew. I was like, I think I was just subconsciously like, man, I'm like, what the hell? Like, what's going on? And then, like, the All Might line hit me. <sighs> All right. I'm at 40, I'm at 46 minutes. That's a, that's a long ass video. Uh, leave your guys' thoughts down below. Um, I hope you guys enjoy my reaction. Sorry for getting this out late. I think this went up like four or five hours ago. I woke up at 9 o'clock. It's my day off, so I just slept in a little bit till 9, and boom, it was up. And, uh, yeah. We don't have long left to go. We are we are definitely in the end game here. This was a lot of the last emotional ropes they had to pull left in. And, uh, yeah. And now we're... Deku has made contact with All for One. I'm curious to see how much damage he'll do, and I, I'm presuming we're get, very soon going to get an, an inside look at All for One. I, I've been saying this for a while. The vestiges are not gone. They're just straight up not gone. Tenko, Tenko's not gone. Shigaraki, I'm iffy on. I, I, it's hard to say if he's actually gone, but I, I'm inclined to believe that there's something left of him, at least to like just talk briefly with Tenko. Because that's the one thing left we haven't really had was as a moment where like both halves of his being kind of acknowledge each other and like just talk. Even if Even if one dissipates in the end, you know? Um, but yeah, leave your guys thoughts down below until next time. It's been mighty gazelle. Hoping you all have a mighty day. Go Deku. <laughs>